Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February to March 2023 Money and Career Tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. Let's see what we have for you. Message for Taurus, Money and Career. First card, Legal. You might have to take care of some legal matters related to financial issues. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. Interestingly enough, I do want to say to some of you, you might be getting a job within a legal firm. This can mean that too. We have, say yes to the things you think you cannot do. Okay, Taurus, let's pull an oracle card for you. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Taurus, money, career, finances, February to March 2022. Well, I like that energy. We have Cracker, number seven. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. I'm going to pull you a fortune cookie, so let's see what we have for Taurus, please. Thank you. We have nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Advice there for you. I'm going to pull you one more. Change. A change of residence, partner, career or job is in the cards. You're restless and in need of a change. And this is exactly what is coming your way. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to pull some cards, see what we have to go with these messages. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guide, message for Taurus, thank you. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you. Money, career, finances, February to March 2023. Thank you. I've got three cards here. We have the Ten of Swords, Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Yeah, you're taking steps. This is about taking steps. It's with regard to a painful ending. So something happened here, Taurus. Something ended. Uh, the Ten of Swords can be about loss. It can be linked with uh, betrayal, feeling stabbed in the back, deeply wounded, deeply hurt. But it is some kind of ending here where you can draw the line under a situation that has been difficult or painful and embrace that new light that's coming in pushing away the dark clouds. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Queen of Cups, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. The Eight of Pentacles, hard work. Seven of Cups. The Tower. Seven of Swords. Judgment. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So, Taurus, a legal process is linked with an ending. I 
I will say that part of this process, there's a feeling of someone concealing things from you. Um, and you're putting a lot of effort and energy to get the outcome that you want because somebody has been concealing things from you in money terms and you know it I mean this is you know it and you've taken steps for that reason again the two of of ones and the three of ones signals that you're taking steps there is a, a process that you're going through um, and things are looking positive your ships are coming in with that three of wands energy there's a feeling of waiting but things progress but they might progress slowly again we're going from the two to the three things are just moving along as part of some kind of painful ending here but you're feeling more positive and hopeful you can see those ships on the horizon those ships are coming into harbor they're not in the harbor yet this is the energy here of what you've taken steps towards, how things are evolving over the next couple of months. You can see the first signs of success. You know that you're gonna, you're gonna, things are gonna go well for you. You just know it here because you might even be getting some feedback uh, and think it, it becomes more and more encouraging, seeing the encouraging signs here. The Tower and the Queen of Cups, it, it, I mean, it could well be I mean, this can be change, endings. Like, I mean, this could be an inheritance issue. This can also be to do with um, a separation or divorce with somebody as well. Queen of Cups can be Queen of Hearts. So it's somebody who might be connected to your heart in some way. It's somebody who you're connected to. Um, someone who's very important. Uh, so this could be a relationship going through the motions of a divorce or separation of assets in some way. And similarly, this can also be to do with, like I said, inheritance. But the tower is about a significant change. But sometimes the tower energy shows where the foundations were not solid and stable. Because as soon as that lightning strikes that tower, it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time. This is change happens. Um, because that structure was not always built on a stable foundation or ended up not being built on a stable foundation and their change happened here. But it doesn't leave you there here, Taurus. Towers generally are all part of our change evolution and moving forward in a direction that we need to be moving in, you know? So it's not always an easy process, but it, it, we look back in tower moments in months or years to come I realize why change had to happen. Yeah. And you'll, this is somebody who really has the bit between their teeth and they're just going to work through the situation. This is definitely a feeling here, Taurus, of just taking everything in your stride. You're doing the work that needs to be done. I'm willing to put in the effort and energy because somebody has been deceptive. This can be about lies, deception, betrayal, but also concealment in terms of money, not being above board. Could be as part of this ending, somebody was wanting to be a bit sly, uh, not reveal everything, not disclose everything that they should. And, you know, when judgment is right next to this, I will say here, Taurus, you know, judgment is a really powerful card. There could be consequences. If somebody has been concealing, if somebody hasn't been above board, if they've told lies about you, um, if they've cast aspersions that were not true, there are consequences here for that person. But for you, karma is on your side. When judgment appears, it's always very positive and favorable for you. This is, an, this is an incoming judgment. It could be to do with that. I mean, I feel with this legal situation, it's a legal process that you're going through and you're getting a judgment. Now, this is where, for a period of time, you're not going to be sure. Things are going to be clouded. You're not going to know what that judgment is for you. And just surrender and trust that, you know. That Seven of Cups is 
also a kind of card of consequences. <laughs> there's a, there's, there is this energy of karma here, I have to say, because what you're hoping for, I feel with that three of wands, you've got every reason to be hopeful and optimistic, but you just don't know. And this is the energy here. If I don't know how it's going to go forward, I just have to kind of surrender and trust that my intuition is right in how I'm feeling and assessing this situation, but I just don't know. But the judgment, when it appears in your reading, is always very good for you because it looks like there's going to be an offer. The Six of Pentacles is really about spirit telling you it's your time to receive. So this is an energy here of spirit telling you that you're going to get what you need. It's your time to receive. Now we have the scales here. It's going to be fair. So spirit is telling you, you're just going to have to surrender and trust, but you're going to get the offer that you want and it's going to be a fair offer. It feels like whoever has been concealing uh, things from you in some way. Again, this could also be to do with deception in a relationship potentially as well. But I'm really getting this strong energy of lies and aspersions and concealment in some way, not being above board, not disclosing everything that they should. They're going to be made to pay. They're going to be made to give you what's fair. So that's what I'm, I'm seeing here, Taurus. If you're thinking about taking action, this is the energy of say yes to the things that you think you cannot do and you're reserved about taking action, about taking those steps that you need to take. If you feel that someone has concealed things from you, Spirit is strongly telling you, go for it, do it, put in the work, because it's all about you getting what you deserve at the end of this. And there is a feeling of uh, a just and fair offer, settlement. Someone's made to pay. That cracker energy is lovely because it feels like their celebration. Again, with these cards being here, this could well be a process that you're going through the next couple of months. But I feel spirit is telling you, don't worry, just if you keep on putting in the work and effort, just take things one step at, your, a, step at a time, take it all in your stride, stay grounded which is the eight of pentacles energy and it's also nature energy as well do what you do best you are an earth sign you're going to get what you need you're going to get the fair offer that you need this is an energy of those those successes coming your way it's not quite there yet but it's coming and every step that you take it's looking more hopeful because it is We have shine from within, looks are only skin deep, true beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next couple of months. I will see you next time.